I am back back with another freaking video man solo dolo man you already know what it is man snaps out she'll be back in we got a surprise somebody gonna step in for a minute too man she's gonna be back in also but man let's get it man we are going on gonna continue on on the leoso leoso mandinga trail um i see that he did something on the daily show with the he investigate colonization on the daily show so i thought this is really interesting you got trevor um, Loi, Loiso, you got both of them at the same time. So let's get it, baby. Let me see what you're gonna do. See what, it, see if this is funny, or it probably is super educational. But I want to see. Show. You know, nowadays it seems like everyone is fighting for power in South Africa. Like it was Cyril versus Zuma, the DA versus the EFF, Black Coffee versus Twitter. But it seems while all of Black this is coffee. going on, there's another player that nobody is watching who might beat us all. Loiso Madinga went to investigate. Loiso. Since 2009, China has been Africa's largest trading partner, and Chinese President Xi Jinping plans to make it rain here even more. President Xi Jinping is in South Africa trying to reassure leaders from across the continent with hard cash. Now, is $60 billion enough to convince African leaders that China is their most reliable partner? But not. I don't know about African leaders. That's enough to, to satisfy King Siwo. Everyone is excited about China's latest money moves. Some believe that all that cash could have some serious strings attached. It's a partnership that hasn't always been described as equal, with China accused of Zuma. plundering Africa's rich resources. They too looking for some special arrangement Julius. to colonize Africa and do as they wish. And they are actually, it looks like they are going to be well done what Britain was to us. As I walked through this massive Buddhist temple in the middle of Beijing, I mean, in the middle of Mpumalanga, I... Bruh. There is a massive Asian temple in South Africa. Bruh, come on. For real? Bro, they don't need that's crazy. I would have never thought an Asian temple on African land. I it just it just for some reason it wasn't ringing. You know. Wow. Okay. Wow. I wondered, was there a point to this alarming claim of Chinese colonization? No way. That is not gonna happen. Colonize me once. Shame on you. Colonize me. Colonize me twice. Look, you can't colonize the colonized. Are we being colonized? Or am I just being paranoid? Or are Chinese people the new white people? For clarity, I spoke to the weirdly composed about this whole thing, Yi Chen. As a South African, as a Chinese South African who the apartheid. I did not know South Africa had Chinese, man. So so South Africa had Chinese, the only thing they didn't get was Hispanics. Government labeled as black, and now you're also black in this government, so my man. Uh, you <laughs> know more than anyone the effects of colonialism, right? And some of the things that are happening seem a little colonizy, you know? Uh, There's been Chinese presence in South Africa, um, more formally, I think, since the 17th century. You know, they're brought um, from Dutch colonies to, to South Africa. Again, when, when gold was discovered in, in, in South Africa after the Anglo-Boer War, to rebuild the country, they brought Chinese to work in the mines. And then you'd have, you know, so there's different waves of Chinese migration. In Bruh, I cannot picture a Chinese person in a mine. Black as can be. Our mines. Yes. And well, some of them stayed. You guys have been black for a long time. <laughs> Ah, well, black people can't colonize black people. That would be black on black colonization. But to double check, I spoke to a guy who is even more black than Ichen, Zuelin Zimavavi, a guy who has put in his 10,000 hours as a revolutionary. We are fighting and fighting our system. So they are colonizing us. Oh, of course they are. <laughs> but. <laughs> Not the face, no. The African continent will eventually run out of all of these mineral deposits. They, they're good at uh, misleading our, our leaders. Wait, what did he say? They, they're good at uh, misleading our, our leaders. Oh, shit. <laughs> Trevor, Trevor, we, we've been colonized. <laughs> 
Why is this guy hating on China so hard? Yeah, I'm, you're bumming me out a little bit, I must say. <laughs> every toy, every child clothing, every jean, every shirt, every suit, you struggle to find anything else from even South Africa. Fine, he may be right, but has this guy seen all the awesome cheap stuff he's missing out on? Look at what I got in Chinatown. He's looking about like, hey man, what did it do reaching out here desk? Well, oh. this stuff is great. Do you know what I got this for? Mm -hmm. Pretty much nothing. It doesn't even matter what I got it Made for. Made in China. They didn't have to swipe for it. I did this, I paid like this. Made in China. Yeah, <laughs> with a shilling. <laughs> yeah. Even with all this dope merchandise in front of him, I just couldn't convince this guy to stop hating. But did he have a point? Do Africa and China need to take a break? Be single for a while. So if it's not China, you know, it will be maybe another player. Oh man, we're sluts. I think whatever happens, if there's an imbalance in the relationship, there is an opportunity for the African side to negotiate that and almost come up with a strategy to engage with China. And not only China, every other player that we engage with. Well, that's an easy solve. All we need to do is negotiate better. But what did the hater have to say about that? Well, we must get political leaders that are serious. What does he mean, leaders who are serious? We have great leaders. We have clowns all over the continent, <laughs> unfortunately, which allows racist and backward-minded people like Donald Trump <laughs> to call our countries what he called us. Mm. Uh, look, we, this is a show watched by children. We're not going to repeat what uh, Donald Trump said. I should hope. Uh, hold on, hold on. Hey, order, comrade. You're painting a very dim picture here. They will become the biggest economy uh, by 2023, 20, 24. And, um, but I think it is the back of exploiting the African continent's mineral resources. This guy has really killed my vibe. This seems really, really bad. Are we gonna get shafted again? So South Africa's investments in China almost exceeded China's in this investments in South Africa. Wait, did she just say South Africa has been making it rain in China? <laughs> so there's like cross-colonization happening. Really? This is, this is hella confusing. Yeah. Turns out that South African corporations own huge shares in Chinese corporations. And at the rate China's economy is growing, our corporations will make enough money to pay off Africa's debt and still have enough change to buy like a whole other Africa if That's, we want. Oh my Falling God. Falling out of control. And just look at us. Hey, listen, just slide, slide some. Tell me what I need to do to get just a little pinch of the pie. Less than 1%. My family can live great over here. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. We seem happy. Chinese people and South African people. We're making this work. There's this weird rumor going around that China is colonizing Africa. It's not right, right? I, I don't know, but maybe in terms of economy, like they are incorporating a lot of Chinese. <laughs> People are so nosy, bro. They got that look like, but that camera just ain't what it is. And that's why it's not, ain't no, uh, yeah, like that ain't what it is, boy. Boy, walk back, look, who just walk back, look like country black inventions and stuff you can't really say dominating dad is so nosy right here bro just mind your business they got an interview going chill i think they're just collaborating it's called business i don't think there's anything really to be worried about i mean everything's made in china anyway as i said so with everything that's going on yeah it makes no difference to south africa it's just good for the economy. Sounds like his drunk uncle, uncle told him that. Yeah. So we're good. We're good. That's what I'm telling you. It's a 50-50. It's a 50-50. We do get our money back. Okay, he seems pretty chilled about it. Then I'm going to be chilled about it. All right. So huh. if economies are like relationships, then maybe we should learn from Oprah. See the red flags, define our boundaries, and don't let our new bay treat us like our last one. And look, on the other hand, if China is colonizing us, at least they are using the gunpowder for its original purpose. And oh my God, have you tasted their food? If colonization is wrong, I don't want to be right. Mm. Is that a biscuit? Well, there you have it. It seems like one nation's shithole is another nation's pot of gold. Thank you, Loiso. We'll be right back. All right. 
super educational. It had its fun, those funny takes, but the education meter was high on that one, man. So I did not know that the Chinese and African, you know, boom boom went like that. Plus that whole that whole temple I saw on that on that on the land. That's what was crazy. I mean, I don't know if that was South is that South Africa because he named um, um, I don't know if he named a country. He named it sounded like he named a city um, where that land was, but I'm I, I'm not sure. But that was very interesting to see that there, plus all the trade and stuff that goes on between Africa and China, man. You know, cause like in America, you really don't hear about those deals and things going on. You only hear about what goes on in America. So that was super educational, man. I like that. I, I'm gonna do some more uh, with uh, Luis. So I'm probably gonna do another one probably coming up right after this one, man. We're gonna see, y'all gonna check it out, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, come back, man. See some more. Uh.